looks like he tweaked his hand a little bit in his last outing with the pie, one and one for Columbus. And West had a good game in first base yesterday. And I think it's smart of Jared Edmondson to utilize the Monday off day. Where, okay, you give Jimenez Monday, he's automatically off Monday. We'll give him Sunday off. That's two days. And yesterday, it gives him three days. That's a nice period of rest to make sure that heals up. On the outside, two balls and a strike now. And it's one of those things where as the season continues along, players will get tweaks there, dinged up here. It's just the way the season goes. You get bruised up as it goes along. Tomas in the set. Looks over to Corbello, the deal. Hefty swing and a miss, two and two now. Combs has been an excellent hitter for Trois-Rivières, carrying a 12-game hitting streak into today's game. Two gone, runner at first. Here's the 2-2 from Comas. Breaking ball that loops into the outside corner, but back-to-back -back full counts is what will result. Should Trois-Rivières need him, Steve Brown is on deck. Moss comes to the set, looks back to first, runner on the move. Fastball that just barely caught the tip of Combs' bat. We will try it again. And Combs was out in front of that pitch. He's lucky he was able to get a piece of it and see another pitch. Two outs in the count full. Brady West not bothering to hold on Curbelo, knowing he'll be running it either way. Coming to the set, runner on the move again, outside for ball four. Moss could not locate the outside pitch. Now there are two runners on base for Trois Rivière. Jared Edmondson was saying before the game how Comas has good control and command of three different pitches. 